Hey, kindergarten, it's Mrs. Shirani. How are you? Guess where I am today? My classroom. I came in today to clean things and pack some things up, and it's been really nice being back in here. And I thought, hey, might as well record today's lesson in my classroom, which is so cool. So today I get to teach skills, which I am super excited about. Listening and learning is all over now, and Mr. Thayer and I are going to share skills. So one day he'll teach it, the next day I'll teach it, and that's how it will work for the rest of the school year. So today in skills, we have kind of a quick review lesson, and I wanted to have some fun with you guys. So today what we'll do, we have four different parts of skills. The first thing we're, we are going to do is do some tricky word practice. And we're gonna do that in a fun exercise kind of way. Then the second thing we're going to do is review this E team that Mr. Thayer talked to you guys about. The third thing we are going to do is read Scott and Lee. And then the last thing you guys will get to work on is an independent work page, which I know you guys love to do in the classroom, and I know you're going to love to do at home too. So let's get started. Now, this is fun. The first thing we're going to do is exercise to some tricky words. So I'm going to put a tricky word here on the screen and we're going to practice saying it together just like we do in our classroom. And then um, throughout our practice as we're reading the different words, you're going to see some different kind of exercise um, motions come on the screen and we'll pause and we'll do those. So we have to stand up together to do this one. Let's look at our first one as an example. This is A. So in my classroom, I like to do different movements when we say sight words. So let's touch our elbows. A, A, A. When you see that word, it's that letter, it's just A. Like A teacher is in her classroom. A. Here's the next one. Ooh. Okay, here's our example. Stretches. So let's stand up and do some stretches with me. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I gotta come back, I gotta come back. Oh, that was good to get our bodies moving a little bit. What is this sight word? Think, 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 think. The, all right, let's do some nose touches. The, T-H-E, the, 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 your turn. T-H-E, the, 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 nice, next. Ooh, what's this sight word? Of. Let's do head touches. O, F, of, of, of. O, F, of, of, of. Nice. I think to speed it along, because we have a lot of tricky words here, you can just do it along with me, okay? Ooh, what's this word? All. All. Let's do toe touches. A, L, L. All, all, all. Like, I wish all of you guys were here. Oh, I forgot to use of in a sentence, didn't I? Hey, I just did. <laughs> jumping jacks again, let's do five jumping jacks together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, gotta come back, gotta come back, gotta come back. All right, what's our next one gonna be? No, this is the word. No, let's pack. N O no no like my son crew tells me no a lot lately. Oh. Squats. Okay, do some squats with me. Ready? One, five, two, three, four, five. Okay. Whew. Now my squat technique may not be the best, but I'm a kindergarten teacher, not a personal trainer, right? <laughs> Ooh, what's this sight word? From, F-R-O-M, from, from, from. Like I wrote you a letter to you from me, from. Ooh, what's this tricky word? Which, this is which, let's grab, grab our ears. W-H-I-C-H, which, which, which. Hmm, like which drink should I have? Water? Or milk? Which? 
lunge. Lunges. Okay, let's stand up and do some lunges. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, come back, come back, come back. I gotta get a drink. Okay, I gotta work out more. This is the word there. Let's do belly touches. T H E R, there, there, there. Hop on one foot. Okay, let's hop on one foot. Ready? We'll do it for five times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, come back, come back, come back, come back. This is the word said. Hmm. Let's do shoulder rubs. S A I D said, said, said. I love you, said Mrs. Sharani. Ooh, this is the word when. Hmm. Let's do notes again. W H E N. When, when, when. When will it be summer? Pretty soon, about a month. Balance on one foot, okay. Let's balance like a flamingo one. So take your one foot and let's balance for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay, okay. Back. Hmm, what's this one? What? This is what. Let's do reach and stretch. W H A T what 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 like what am i going to do all summer long next this is the word one it's the number one not like you won a game like you're counting one let's put, put our finger up for one o n e one 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 i have one child one Next, oh, you did it. That was a lot. Okay, let's take a deep breath. Nice, I feel better. If you have a drink, grab a drink. All right, let's move into step two. We're gonna talk quickly about this letter team. This is a letter team that makes the E sound. See them working together like that, like a team. So when you see E by itself, it makes E, eh, E, eh, but when you see two E's together, it says E. Say it with me. E. All right, now we just did a lot of exercising, so give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if the next pictures you see have this E sound in them. Listen. This is a B. Yes, I hear that E sound at the end. B. Mm-hmm. Spider-Man. No, Spider-Man. I don't hear E. No. Tree. Tree, I hear it at the end, yes. Cheese. Yes, yes, that does have the E sound. This is Swiss cheese, which I love it. You hear E in the middle there, cheese in the middle. Donut. Donut. No, but donuts are delicious. Queen. This is Queen Elizabeth, like we learned about back in our listening and learning unit about kings and queens. Queen. Yes, I hear that in the middle too. Queen. Mm -hmm. Taco. Today is Taco Tuesday. I guess that would be yesterday for you guys. Hmm. Taco. No, no taco. Oh, that is it. Good work. Okay. Now, step three is to read our story. I know you guys read this yesterday with Mr. Thayer too, but it's always good to read books more than once. So let's read this together. And in Scott and Lee, you're going to see a lot of these E words. So let's read it together. 
Scott and Lee. Ooh, I see a lot of the E words. And they're bold, bolded. That means we can, it might help us remember to say E instead of eh, eh. That's why they're bolded, to help us remember. So the characters in this story are Scott and Lee. Where's the setting of the story? A farm. It looks like they're on a farm. This is a very quick book, so let's read it together. This is Scott Green. Scott is 10. Scott's dad keeps, keeps a pig in a pen. There it is. Scott's mom keeps, oh, same word, keeps three, oh, T-H says th three hens. Scott keeps a sheep. And there he is right there. There's Scott. He's keeping a sheep. Hmm. Who's Lee? Let's keep reading. Lee the sheep, sheep is Scott's pet. Oh, that's who Lee is. So there's Scott and there's Lee. Lee the sheep is Scott's pet. I just read that. Silly message funny. Scott feeds Lee and rubs him on the back. Lee is a sweet sheep. Oh, that was great. All right, now one really good thing to do would be to pause me right now and see if you can read this by yourself. So I guess you should pause me now. Did you read it by yourself? I bet that you did. Okay, here is our last step of skills today, step number four. This is from our workbook. So we would normally do this workbook in our classroom. And I thought, hey, let me upload it to Google Classroom for you guys or show you on here. And if you have paper, you can write it on a piece of paper and you don't have to print this paper out. If you are not able to do that, don't worry about it. You can just write this on paper. You could write it on a whiteboard or sidewalk chalk or use crayons, whatever you want. Or you could just work through it on the video without writing it. That's fine too. Whatever works for you guys at your houses is totally cool. So don't feel like you have to print it out and write in it that way. But if that's what you want to do too, cool. Whatever works for you. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to read these top three words. So let's do that together. Eat. Feet. Seems. Ooh, there's that tricky S that sometimes sounds like a Z, huh? Seems, seems, like it seems like you are great readers. Needs, needs. Okay, so we have feet, seems, needs. Now let's read the sentence and see which one of these belongs in this blank. That kid, feet mad? No. That kid seems mad. That could work, but let's read the last one just to be sure. That kid needs mad? No, I think that kid seems mad makes the most sense to me. Let's read this one. Dad has socks on his feet. Dad has socks on his needs. Dad has socks on his feet, makes the most sense. And a really good strategy to do too, we already use seams, so you could cross that one out. And we already use feet, so you could cross that one out. Now let's do this one. An blank 10 in cash. Ann needs 10 in cash. That means like Ann needs money. She needs $10. She needs money. There we go. So we use them all. That kid seems mad. Dad has socks on his feet and needs 10 in cash. Good work. All right, now you guys pause me right here and you can do this page by yourself. Pause. All right, I'm sure that you guys did an awesome job 
um, send me some pictures into Class Dojo or Google Classroom. Um, and I can't wait to see this page completed all by yourselves, guys. Thank you for letting me do skills with you. It was fun to do it in my classroom. It feels kind of more like teaching for me, but I love getting to um, do these videos for you guys. It's so much fun. On um, tomorrow, Thursday, Mr. Thayer will be back to do lesson three of skills, and then I will see you guys on Monday because Friday is a free day. Oh, actually, I won't see you guys on Monday because that's Memorial Day. I'll see you guys next Wednesday, so one week from today. Bye!